morning, scholars, and welcome to Read Alouds with Ms. Castle. Happy Tuesday. I'm excited to see you here with me today. And it's our second day doing an author study on Jory John. Maybe we're going to see a new story that looks similar to yesterday, or get introduced to a completely new story by Jory John. Who knows? But let's get to it and learn more about him before we read our story. Come along with me, scholars. Remind me of our author one more time. What's his name? Yes, it's Jory John. Jory John. This is another picture of Jory John. Today, we're going to meet him in a video. He's a little goofy, and I think you're going to love him because he's so funny. Before we watch that video, there's one more question I know that you're going to be able to answer for me. Remind me. Is he an author, an illustrator, or both? Is Jory an author, an illustrator, or both? You're right, he is only an author. What does an author do? Does an author write the story or draw the pictures? You're right, he writes the story. Way to go, scholars. Come along with me as we hear and get to meet Jory John. I think you're going to love him. Come along with me. Jory John is making some books on YouTube, videos on YouTube, books and books and videos, and now it's on the internet. Hello, friends, family, neighbors, people I've never talked to in my life. Hello, educators, parents, students and people in their houses throughout the country and the world. My name is Jory John, and I'm an author. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Didn't you just love him? So funny. I giggled almost the whole time watching that. He seems like he would be so much fun to meet in real life. In today's story, our character is very bored. Say, bored. What does it mean to be bored? You're right. It's when there seems like there's nothing for you to do. There's nothing interesting for you to do. You're just bored. Some of you might feel like that right now because you're inside. Do you feel bored? I'm going to use it in a sentence. My brother told me that he was bored staying inside all day. I have a feeling that some of you might feel bored too, having to stay inside all day long. I'm sometimes bored trapped in my apartment too. I would love to go out and about, but I know we're not supposed to. So right now, I'm kind of bored inside too. So I get it. Our character today in our story is also bored. So when we read our story today, I want you to think about a couple things. First, I want you to think of why is the main character bored? Which I think right when we start reading it, you'll be able to easily figure out why is he so bored? And then secondly, I want you to think about what makes him so bored? Why is he bored? Our character today, which you can probably guess from the background of our slides, it is Penguin Problems. And it is about a penguin who has so many problems. If you watched last week during a Facebook Live read aloud, Miss Garrett also read a book by Jory John called Giraffe Problems. This book is called Penguin Problems. Then you're going to love hearing about this penguin and all of his problems. So come along with me. I know you're going to absolutely love hearing about the penguin. What? You're going to read this book? Somehow I seriously doubt that. I bet you won't even finish reading this flap. Don't worry about it. Why would you want to learn about some penguin's problems when you have plenty of problems of your own? Just look around. The world's a mess. Besides, you probably don't even like penguins. Heck, I barely even like penguins, and I'm a penguin. Seriously, I'll understand if you go 
put this book back on the shelf. Go ahead. It's just for the best. I'm sure you'd get a whole bunch of paper cuts anyways. And you'd probably bend the pages. And you'd get your little fingerprints everywhere. When was the last time you washed those grubby hands of yours, hmm? No offense. <sighs> Listen, I'm going back to bed. Read, don't read, buy, don't buy, whatever. Just try not to wake me up. I'm a light sleeper and I have a lot on my mind. Penguin problems. <sighs> it's way too early. Scholars, who is our main character in this story? Yes, the penguin. Why would the penguin be bored? I notice that he seems like he is bored of where he lives. He doesn't look very excited about doing his daily life as a penguin. My beak is cold. What's with all the squawking, you guys? It snowed some more last night, and I don't even like snow. And it's too bright out here. I'm hungry. I'd like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish, get out here. The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I sink like a dumb rock. It's way too dark down here. Brr. I said brr. Oh, great, a leopard seal. Oh, great, a shark. What is it with this place? I don't like being hunted. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. Scholars, when reading this, it sounds like even being chased by scary animals under the sea, the penguin is still bored. He's not even scared of them. He's just like, oh, well, okay, whatever. I waddle too much. I look silly when I waddle. See? Waddle, waddle, waddle. I wish I could fly, but I can't. See? Everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Mortimer. I have so many problems, and nobody even cares. Excuse me, sir. What? Good afternoon. I sense that today has been difficult. But lo, look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflected in the ocean? Like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of the cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, some things are challenging out there. Yes, we all have difficult moments, from the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales to the penguins. But hear me now, my new friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, and I am quite sure you wouldn't either. I am certain that when you think about it, you'll realize that you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Who the heck was that guy? Why do strangers always talk to me? Walruses don't understand penguin problems. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe that walrus has a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean. And the sky. And I have friends and family. This is my only home. And this is my only life. Maybe things will work out after all. My beak is cold. And it gets dark way too early. Did you like the story? I certainly did. I had no idea that a penguin could possibly have that many problems. I mean, seriously, he's a penguin. How does he have that many problems? But apparently he does. What are some of the problems that he had? 
I want to see if you can list them. Yeah, you just listed three problems that the penguin had in our story. Way to go, scholars. There were so many things wrong. He didn't like the mountains. He didn't like the oceans. He didn't like how bright the sun was. He didn't like how he had to swim because it was hard for him and it made his flippers tired. He didn't like that he wasn't able to fly. He didn't like that he was able to wobble. He doesn't want to wobble like a penguin. He had so, 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 so many problems in this story. So awesome job naming three things that he had problems with. Why was he bored? Why do you think the penguin would be bored? Yeah, so he had so many problems and all those problems made him bored. He didn't like living where he lived. It was boring, same old view every day. He did not like having to have all these other penguins around him. It was boring. And he didn't even recognize who his friends were or who his family was. He was just bored of being where he was. At the end, did he change his views at all? Yeah, at the end, we were able to see that, you know what? He actually started to like the view. He started to like the ocean. Because who reminded him that this place that he lives at is nothing to be upset about? Nothing to be bored about? Yeah, it was the walrus. The walrus told him, hey, buddy, like, come on. It's not that bad. You're making it sound like it's so bad. But hey, you need to take a step back and realize that where you're at is actually wonderful. And after he listened to the walrus, he changed his mind and he's like, you know what? He's right. It's really not that bad. So I loved the story about penguin problems. And I hope you did too. Tomorrow, we're going to read our third book by Jory John. I cannot wait for you to see who it's going to be because I'm very excited to introduce you to those characters tomorrow. So you're going to have to come along with me to do them. Before anything, I want you to click the link below and fill out a couple questions about what we just read in Penguin Problems. I cannot wait to see your responses about what your thoughts were in Penguin Problems. Have a great rest of the day, dears, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Goodbye.